Welcome back sa mga nasa'yong Gigi Sphere and I am with... Johan. Yes! Welcome mga kaibigan! Good evening once again! You're watching the Green Premier League 2014 a Summer Season! This is a match uh, between Team NFL versus the War Gods. Pero bago ang lahat, pakilala muna natin ang ating bagong shoutcaster for tonight. Uh, Johan, pakilala mo naman ang sarili mo sa ating mga summoners. Hi, I'm Johan. You can find me on YouTube at Mr. Icon TV. I do gameplay videos and I also stream. If you'd like to check me out, it's youtube.com slash user slash Mr. Icon TV. Yes, so, yung, kung confused kayo kung ano yung Mr. Icon TV, andyan, nakita nyo sa, sa kanyang tag dito sa ating uh, screen ngayon. Pero yes, after ng ating introduction dito, let's proceed na mga kaibigan sa ating banning phase between NFL and Wargod. So far, as you can see, we have Gragas, Elise, and Jace for Team NFL dito for Team Wargod, si Cassidy, Yasuo, and Brom. What is your opinion dito, Johan? I think that they banned Jace is a very good ban right now because Jace is very strong in the top meta right now because of the Essence Reaver. Yes. The 4.10 patch really brought out Essence Reaver that really made Jace much stronger. Essence Reaver really blends in well with Jace's kit and really makes him such a strong top player right now. Actually, in any AD carry na caster dito, nagbigay talaga ng sobrang uh, buff for, I mean, with that Essence Reaver item for the AD carry, Jace. And yes, as you can see mga kaibigan, for the lineup of Team NFL dito, they got a Kill and a Thresh. And listen as well. So, what do you say about these three picks for the team NFL? I think the pick of Lee Sin really allows them to exert a lot of map pressure early on. Not only early on, but towards the mid game. Lee Sin really has really good mobility and really good clear time. So, they can really exert map pressure, roam bot, roam top, roam mid. And that really allows them to get better control of objectives. And not only that, also vision control. It's like what happened earlier in the match between uh, Azubo Type Assassins and IPT. Wins really controlled that game with uh, the effectiveness. I mean, the mobility, being a the mobility champion dito, roaming around the map, the top lane, the mid lane dito, they, uh, they really gave a lot of pressure to uh, the mid and top lane of Team IPT. For Team Wargats, we have Lulu and Lucian. And they are trying to uh, pre-pick itong si Morgana. Same with a Skarner. So as you can see, we have uh, pro most probably the mid laner na itong si uh, Lulu and the AD carry na si Lucian. So what can you say about this kind of lineup? We have Skarner na nag-buff din as well after yung 4.10 match na, uh, patch natin. Well yeah, Skarner did get buffed this patch. Apparently in 4.11 he's gonna get nerfed again. Sorry Skarner fans, but I think <laughs> Skarner is a good pick now as he is strong. But I don't think they should get too used to him right now after the nerfs that will come next patch. But I think the Morgana Lucian bot is a tried and proven thing that works in bottom lane. Yes. But we're yet to see what NFL will choose in their AD carry. But of course, Thresh, Thresh and Morgana, very even matchup right now. But it really depend what NFL chooses to go with in the bottom lane. Is it actually with the Thresh and Morgana dito? Hindi mo talaga masasabi kung sino yung may advantage at kung sino yung may disadvantage dito. Kasi, uh, possible na maging pang counter itong si Morgana against a Thresh. And possible din naman na Thresh can go. I mean, can win against some Morgana dito. And it all depends on how they will, they will execute their skills dito. So, as you can see mga kaibigan, NFL for picking ito twist, uh, Tristana and Twisted Fate as well. If ever na they will get, yes, they, Tristana has been locked in. And if ever na they will get uh, Twisted Fate dito, do you think they had the advantage throughout the game in the mid lane? If ever na si Lulu yung kanyang katapan? I think Twisted Fate really could could make or break this game right now because of the destiny, his SS. I think his SS really allows them to allow not pressure. So you can see that they have Lee Sin and Twisted Fate on the same team. So that really allows them to rotate well and just to exert a lot of map pressure. And as you can see, they also have a Tristana, very strong late game champion, along with Twisted Fate, both very strong late game champions. They could look to make a huge, huge power spike towards late game. So as you can see, yes, Tristana can surely give them uh, an, uh, a lot of this ad uh, advantage dito throughout the game. And like what happened earlier dito for Bebe in the bottom lane, ang kanyang finawas na item dito ay yung kanyang static shift going for less damage output but more on the pusher type in the bottom lane. So as you can see mga kaibigan, they're trying to uh, think if they will get LeBlanc for the lineup of Team Wargat dito that most probably will go for the mid lanes. Do you think it's a good idea to get LeBlanc dito against a Twisted Fate? Yeah, definitely. I think that LeBlanc allows him to get stronger early game. And since you can see that NFL will have a very strong late game because of Tristana and Twisted Fate, I think trying to execute in the early game and allowing themselves to get a huge lead early might be able to counteract that strong late game from NFL. So in the mid, uh, in the mid part, in the mid game, dito, I'm pretty sure that uh, LeBlanc can surely dominate the mid lane against this Twisted Fate. But in the top lane, Kill versus Lulu, who do you think can dominate dito in the laning phase and in the mid game? Well, Kill always a strong pick, and that's why she's been seeing a lot of nerfs lately. But I think Lulu is a very, very strong team fighter. 
Well, of course, Kale has her own strengths in team fights. I think Lulu, when it comes to team fights, I think she's a better pick right now. Yes, and Lulu in the top lane versus Kale, I think uh, it's all about how the jungler will uh, secure them uh, their ganks dito. The lane in face, mukhang nagkakaroon ng problema si SOFM and Sheen as well sa kanilang pag-swap ng mga champions dito or is it possible that Sheen will go for the jungle at itong mid ay si SOFM? We'll see. Skarner versus Lee Sin. Who do you think can uh, gag the lanes dito very well? I think it's definitely Lee Sin. Lee Sin can just early game, can just exert so much, so much pressure. And when Lee Sin gets rolling and gets those few kills early on, that really leads to a very strong mid game. And when you get a really strong mid game and are able to survive towards late game, that again, that twisted fate Tristana combo will really just carry them through. Yes, in uh indeed with the twisted fate and Tristana dito once again with the new destiny, they can secure a kill in the bottom lane with the Thresh as well. Thresh Tristana against their opponent dito na si Lucian and si Morgana will see kung ano yung mga possible strategy nila dito. But uh Johan, do you think with this in terms of uh team clashes dito, five versus five, who do you think can dominate the team fight dito, or who do you think that has the advantage to go through their defenses? It will really depend what point of the game they have these team fights. Early game, of course, I think that they're going to have War Gods as a victor in team fights, especially if they go early. Because the fact that you have Lucian, really strong early game champion, and you have Morgana with her Dark Binding, which can stun. And you have LeBlanc as well, a very strong early game champion. So they have really strong early game lineup. So if WG gets into a team fight very early on, I think WG might take it. Yes, yeah, so Wargas, in, uh, in terms of the crowd control, they had the advantage dito having the Dark Binding, I mean the uh, Ethereal Chain coming from LeBlanc, same with the Soul Shackle from Morgana dito. They can surely have the advantage dito to win against their opponent. They have the Wild Growth as well coming from Lulu to support their uh, teammates during the team fight. But for Team NFL, I think they are more on focus sa... Uh, protecting their carries dito. Yeah. Since they have Gale, they have Thresh as well to support their comrades if ever na magkaroon ng team fight or if ever na mag-engage ang team ng War Gods for the NFL. So do you think uh, in the level 1 team fight dito, if ever na magkakaroon ng level 1 5v5 team fight, who do you think can dominate dito since they're all level 1 pa lamang? Okay, so if you see Thresh, if Thresh hits his hooks, it'll really depend, especially in bot lane early on, who engages first. So if Thresh hits his hook, for example, it's going to be definitely in favor of of WG of no not WG NFL of NFL yeah but if Morgana hits her dark binding then WG definitely has an advantage during that engage so in the by it, the end it of really the day goes, yeah by the end of the day it really goes yes. either way it really depends how they execute these things so, so if Thresh hits his hooks that's a definite advantage for NFL but if Morgana hits her dark binding it's definitely an advantage for WG Indeed. For, for NFL I think uh, they should have at least let Twisted Fate to use some gold guard Moon instead of uh Using uh, the death sentence for and uh, for Violet Dito for the initiation. However, it could be yes. It all depends. Kung sino yung maunang tumama ng kanila mga disabled Dito for the crowd, crowd control skills. But in the mid uh, in the mid game Dito, once na reach ng level six itong si SOFM. So the only thing na kaya niyang gawin to win against the Blank is to roam around the map using his destiny. Kasi uh, kung early game palang at dumabas siya sa kanyang uh, opponent Dito. I'm pretty sure that us Trevor can surely dominate the mid lane dito against his opponent. And in your opinion, uh, in terms of the map control, I mean yung kanilang uh, vision dito, what do you think the team Wargods should do against the NFL? I think that they should, what they should do is they should definitely get their bot lane fed first. Because if you can have a very strong bot lane early, that definitely will help you out. Because you want to make sure that Tristana doesn't go fed, doesn't get fed. Because Tristana late game is a monster. You want to make sure that you capitalize on her early game and on your advantage in the mid game as well. So Lucian, strong mid game, strong early. You want to make sure your bot lane gets rolling. And in terms of that as well, you want to make sure that NFL's Lee Sin doesn't exert so much map pressure. You want to make sure that you can control objectives despite Lee Sin's very strong early game. Yes, indeed. So far, like what you've said, it's all about how they will uh, snowball the bottom lane dito. Yeah. How Lucian and Morgana can win against their opponent. So... Scanner or Stronger should uh, gank or camp the bottom lane frequently so they can secure their objective of, uh, well, winning the bottom lane dito. If ever na may umabot kagad ng level 6 to Tisted Fate, he could at least gank the bottom lane as well so they can stop Lucian from uh, getting farmed up so much dito sa laban nila. And in terms of uh, the objective naman dito, I think 
Every NFL should at least get the first uh, Dragon sign or well, the, ter- the first Turtles as well. So yes, mga kaibigan, let's go sa ating Summoner's Rift. Se- uh, fourth game for tonight, NFL versus the War Gods. And kanina, before this game, IPT versus the Azubo Type Assassins. Unfortunately, Team IPT ay natalo. Very nice skin for SOF and the Pax Twisted Fate, ha? But, uh, so, you are for, uh, at this point of time, uh, looking at the champions dito, since pag-usapan na natin kanina yung mid-game, yung early game, hanggang sa late game dito, in the, especially yung 5v5 team clashes, do you think, um, Skarner is a good champion me. choice with a Lulu, with a LeBlanc, with, yes, a Lucian and a Morgana dito for Team Wargats? I think in their team comp works well. But I just think that, especially with NFL, I think that their team comp works better because you're able to rotate. And again, as we can see the last game, map pressure is definitely key when it comes to taking objectives. So that when you see that when you see last game, when TPA really exerted that map pressure, Lee Sin just roamed a lot and got a lot of pressure on all lanes. And they're able to just push the turrets, take the turrets, and just that really led them to snowballing in terms of gold. Not only in gold as well, and also in farming. They're able to just farm better because they're able to take off their opponent's turrets. Yes, so far I think uh, stronger can be a very effective jungle dito. But the the only problem here is that uh, sobrang kailangan niyang lumapit sa kanyang kalaban before he can be... I mean, he can dish out so much damage dito sa laban. And unlike itong si Shin na ginagamit si Lee Sin, kahit malayo siya, gagamitin niya lang kanyang sonic wave and then resonating strike. And... He can surely uh, engage the team fight dito and help his comrade to win the team fight na yare later on in the game. But uh, twisted fate naman dito against Aleb lang. Like what we've said kanina, mahirap siyang manalo against Aleb lang. But uh, if ever naman nakumuha ng uh, item dito sa SOF, eh, more on for defensive item like the Unholy Athene Grail dito, at least yung kanyang magic resist and yung kanyang mana regeneration dito can give him enough uh, defense against dito kay uh, Trevor or kay LeBlanc. So, do you think it's a good idea for SOFF dito na mag-focus sa pagiging isang defensive champion or like getting the magic resist instead of for getting an AP, pure AP Twisted Fate? Oh, definitely not. I think that what SOFM should do here is that Twisted Fate should just rotate. So, after you get Twisted Fate farmed up, hit that level 6 as quickly as possible, build AP, build those power spikes, so get the level 6 power spike up, Get Use your SS, go bot, go top, go wherever, and make sure that you exert that pressure. You get a few gangs going, kill a few kill a few heroes, I mean champions, for playing long. So, kailangan yeah. niya nga. <laughs> kailangan niya sulitin na sobra yung kanyang destiny dito. Every time na mag-cooldown yung kanyang destiny, you have to gang any lane, top lane, mid, uh, I mean top lane, and the bottom lane dito. But, uh, in my opinion lang, for me, I think it is much better for him to gang the bottom lane. Lalong-lalo na kanilang kalaban dito ay si Lucian and si Morgana, both a champion na sobrang aggressive sa laban natin dito. And take note, it is si Swiss and Poisonity. Kapag tumama yung Dark Binding coming from Poisonity dito, they will surely follow it up with their comrades sa laban. In the bottom lane naman, uh, Jeff and Violet can still win against these two champions. And like, alam natin lahat dito na yung difference between Tristana and Lucian is yung layo ng range ni Tristana compared to Lucian dito. But once na makapa- makalapit ng uh, itong si Lucian na sa Tristana, magkakaroon sila ng magandang exchange. Yeah, and I think early game as well, Tristana has lacked, really lacks that range. So I think Lucian can outrange Tristana, can really bully her early game. But of course, what becomes critical in this is yes. who hits their skill shots. Will Thresh hit his hook or will Morgana hit her dark binding? That becomes really critical and then engages in bottom lane. So for example, in the early game, Tristana definitely won't be able to engage as effectively with Lucian because her range is just so small. Compared to Lucian with his Q especially, this Q can reach so far if it hits a minion then hits a champion. So really, I think early game, Lucian can definitely bully Tristana. Yes. And uh, mga kaibigan, at to this moment, nakapost pa rin ang ating game. I think meron konting uh, technical di- uh, technical issue I sa side ng no Wargaids. And yes, disconnected si Wargaids Trevor dito. We just got reconnected. It's just so, open internet. Mm, I think uh, medyo, <laughs> yeah. like the usual, problem yeah. in, in internet uh, connection problem dito. But so far, I think in this, this, with this kind of lineup, uh, 
hindi ganun ka ay, para sa akin lang ha hindi ganun siguro kaganda na si Lisin ang ginawang jungle ito ng uh, NFL it could have been better siguro kung kumuha sila ng champion like Elise or champion like uh, any champion for the jungle dito na merong crowd control but kapag alam natin lahat na kapag si Lisin yung ginahit mong jungle dito ang kanyang magagawa lang ay magbigay ng uh, damage output and as well as well yung kanyang dragon rage dito to initiate the team fight and help his comrades during the the skirmishes and in terms of the crowd control itong lack itong uh, problema ng NFL ngayon they only have the death sentence they only have the gold card from SOFM but really, and, in terms of dealing damage that's all you need really. yes so if for example just at fate builds AP after that gold card everybody can just follow that up and just fate will have a huge amount of DPS Especially Tristana. Tristana is a champion that once she gets rolling, once she gets those few kills, she gets fed a little bit. Her DPS just skyrockets after yes. she gets either... Well, let's see what he tries to build here with Tristana. But if he builds, for example, IE, after you get that IE, that's a huge power spike for Tristana. So in the end, even though they have a very small amount of crowd control, once they hit one of them, they can just go in very hard yes. and they can get so, few kills right so away. So it's all about the follow-up skills coming from the NFL Tito. And I think... Ah, uh, tama yung tama yung sinabi mo no, yung about the Infinity Edge dito for Tristan eh. Actually, lagi namin sinasabi dito na kapag ano yung kung ano yung makuha mong gold dito sa early part of the game kapag nagre-recall ka, halimbawa meron ka ng 1550 kaga instead of uh, going for the Blade of the Ruin King or Static Shield, you will get syempre yung Blade of Sword for your champion for the AD carry role. And kapag nakakaipon ka kagad ng enough gold dito for an Infinity Edge, you have to get the Infinity Edge as soon as possible. So yes mga kaibigan, game on na tayo ngayon. Wargus vs NFL. Sa so, wakas na pag-resume na rin ng ating game. Early invade, do you think it's possible na magkaroon ng early invade dito between NFL and Wargus? I think that WG shouldn't have an early invade but I think definitely NFL can have an early invade. Especially the Lee Sin early well, game. It's definitely an open possibility for them to have this early invade. But I think in terms of how strong NFL will be late game, I don't think it's necessary. I think that they should just farm regularly, just get in lane, and just farm until the late game, and just have a very, very strong late game. So ngayon, Team Wargad should have just defend their uh, blue buffs and red buffs as well dito sa laban na ito. So if ever na may makasteal, uh, makasteal ng, uh, ng kanilang mga jungle buffs, give them a disadvantage in the early part of the game. However, NFL at this point of time, they're uh, like the usual. They're securing their jungle buffs as well, putting the trinkets as early as possible. So, walang lane swap na nangyayari. I think both the AD carries and the supporter will go for the bottom lane. Do you think it's a good idea? Or do you think tama lang tong standard laning phase for both teams? Or do you think at least two all lane swap sa laban na to? Yeah, I think that it was a possibility for Lucian and Morgan to swap top and allow them to just have that huge siege potential. Because early, Lucian is just a, such a versatile character. Early on, he can definitely have, he can definitely siege towers very fast. He has a decent amount of wave clear. Especially with Morgana around. And Morgana gives you that safety, so if they chose to rotate top, they probably could have gotten that tower very early on. However, I think in bot lane, I think having them stay in bot lane works well for them as well because it allows them to get farmed and especially it allows them to control Tristana and make sure she doesn't get fed early and doesn't get too much farm. So, well, lang lane swap na nang yari dito. And this is kind of unusual, but. Uh... Mukhang uh, walang takutan dito sa kanila mga AD carries So they are aware that uh, at least kaya nila labahan ang kanilang mga kalaban dito But wow! Morgana and Lucian will go for the top lane dito Like what you said So they're doing a lane swap dito Ooh! Here comes the rocket jump from Jeff for JLT Stronger was ignited by Violet dito And he is taking so much damage Take note, mayroon siyang blue buff So if ever naman patay siya dito Either of the two champions from NFL dito will get that blue buff I think it's Here comes the SOFM with that gold card. JLC will go yeah, down. Gets the first blood. First blood for Team NFL Tito. Very wow. dangerous to have Twisted Fate with that first blood. Because Twisted Fate, again, almost getting another kill here. Twisted Fate is such a strong champion in late game. To give him enough kills to survive in mid game, it'll be so powerful late game, you won't be able to stop him. Sobrang nag snowball siya yeah. ngayon with that first blood. And at least around the 8 CS to go against his opponent Tito going against Trevor and once na mag-recall siya makakuha na siya ng enough item for siya dito wow an, a still attempt once again for the members of Wargods dito I mean NFL against the Wargods 
Thank you to mga kaibigan sa lahat ng di nakakaalam. Ito na yung second match ng NFL at ng Wargod. First win goes to Wargod dito. Death sentence connected. Wow! Hejo. And that's Even it, though became, it became critical that they that they retreated Lucian and Morgana top because that allowed them to defend that top up there. And now they're going to try to push, as you can see, they're trying to get Vision to throw first, and then they're going to try to push top lane as hard as they can. So then they can keep the tower and then Ooh, they can Ooh, stronger versus SOFM, SOFM will go down. A good rotation coming from Swiss Dito. And this kind of one you show to see an AD carry na gumagha sa mid lane. But it is necessary for their team. Medyo nahihirapan dito si Trevor against the Twisted Fate. However, yes, with that Doran's ring, another Doran's ring for Twisted Fate Tito in the boots of speed for his champion. I think that top lane, Lucio and Morgan, you can see right now, they were able to gank this lane only because they had already established that vision control that they were allowed because they were the top lane. But I think right now this is very definitely a good choice to get the top lane. NFL will go for the first dragon of the game. SOFM and the other members of NFL Tito will try to respond here. And this is one of the most uh, dangerous part of doing a swap lanes Tito. Kapag nasa top lane ng AD Carry and ang support role ninyo, you can't control the dragon very well. Definitely. So it really becomes a prerogative for them to now rotate bottom and make sure that they don't get this dragon cleanly. You can allow them to get dragon, but you want to make sure you clean them up afterwards. So you engage in a team fight right away, especially because after dragon, people have used their skills, they've already lost health. Yes. And they want to engage hard and get some control. They can respond if ever, but uh, since Sobra Knight in Adito, Morgana will try and respond here in the bottom. And because of those, that, that sentence. JLT will go down once again with that rocket jump coming from Jeff Tito Two champion exchange for team SOFM, the NFL Tito And that dark binding connected to SOFM, they are chasing down The rest of the members of NFL, Marcus Trevor, use his flash And that distortion, a gold card, managed to stun a champion Tito Wow! I could get a kill right here to get another jump and here comes the rocket jump from this time to Jeb. One more hit. Ooh! Doesn't have the tower there. The sense is back off. Yes, I think uh, medyo nagkaroon din siya ng konting target problem to. And he decided to uh, attack the turret instead yes. of hitting the champion. Must have been a pack I definitely think he could have traded kills there. I don't think it would have been a wise decision. But as Tristana, he probably could have flashed and gotten the kill. Yes. Was, that, was that a good decision? Probably wouldn't have been. So I think he made a right decision to back in the Good job for Team NFL Tito, but that Dragon, uh, dragon first Dragon attempt for NFL Tito got stopped by the members of War Gods. However, with that 3 0 exchange, I think. Uh, it's definitely worth it. Yes. Yeah. And you can see Lucian's already getting popped up just top lane. So that's where you see where the rotations become so important, is how you farm after those rotations. So if Lucian gets far and go, gets to mid game and these team fights, Lucian will be a very difficult part of that. Because when Lucian gets his bot, I don't know what he's gonna build here, but if he builds either bot rack, which is the, the root king, or IE, he hits that power spike. And if he hits that before Tristana, in terms of team fights, it's gonna be very dangerous for NFL. And here goes the members of Wargus, my big and enemy named Tito. They're ganking up also with him. That follow up skill coming from the members of Wargus, Tito. What an exchange in the mid lane. Good rotation coming from Very Morgan. good play from WG. They were able to catch out the mid lane right there because, again, of their vision control. They have such good vision control this game. That really allows them to control the map well. And yes, Umabot Sana si Shin Dito in the mid lane to help his comrades. However, uh, it, was very, it was too late for him to, uh, to at least give a contribution here in the mid lane to help his comrades Dito. But I think. Medyo sinasabayan itong si Tresh and Morgana I mean si Tresh itong si Morgana So at least sa, sa rotation na ginagawa niya In the mid lane At least trying to uh, help SOFM dito na mag uh, sustain However, Suez Against Starfall In the top lane dito Definitely Not a wise, not not a wise SS right there from Lucian But I thought that See, definitely the strategy of rotating top will work because now they're seizing the tower and they're, they're just right about to get that tower right now. It's very low health, but he should, I thought he should have finished that, and I thought that was a very poorly advised SS. <laughs> yes, pero 
Like what you said kanina, no? In the top lane, sobrang lamang itong si Dushan to uh, push the first tier turret kagad. Kasi nga, in terms of uh, his skills, alam na yung kanyang passive dito. Every time na gumagamit siya ng skill, nagkakaroon siya ng double attack. And against a champion like si Tristana, mas mabilis siya nag-push ng late dito. Even with the attack speed na meron si Jeff or Tristana. In this game, wow, oh, that dead tested. Right Once there. again, for JLC dito, JLC. He goes the tower, he goes for the kill, yeah. gets it. And he's able to pick up a kill of Fresh Dito. That is very oh. dangerous for WC because Tristana is 3 0 1 right now. And she's not, and he's almost farming as well as Fusion. This is very bad for WC right now. Ooh. Because if Tristana gets rolling 3 0 mid game, she's gonna be powerful. And then late game, is gonna be a monster. Actually, with that pickaxe alone, surely he can. Uh, give enough pressure against your opponent Tito. So Lucian decided to go for the Beach Water Catlass instead of go uh, instead of going for any item that uh, could go for damage output. But uh, right now, alam natin lahat na mas siguro mas efficient to go for a Blade of Doorway King instead of the Bloodthirster. Well, but, definitely. Uh, uh, aside from the Bloodthirster buff, uh, nerfs, I mean, after Bloodthirster got really nerfed, it only really works on Graves right now. I think Graves is the only champion in the game who's able yes. to take advantage of that new Blood Thurster because Graves, with his passive along with that shield, takes only takes advantage of Blood Thurster changes. But Saka, Lucian, Lucian getting Blood Thurster is not a wise decision yes. after the nerfs. Saka, isa pang maganda dito for Graves, if ever na measure Blood Thurster, is because yung kanyang AD scaling damage sa mga skills niya dito. AUE yung kanyang skill. So, more on. An effective way for a Graves to win the matchup dito is to get the cursor. And here comes Trevor, mga kaibigan. Gaming up SOF, ang nagbis na kanya ito yung Jing. And here comes Violet to help his comrades. Tito, Destiny! That will pick up again. Tito! Wow, that hell pick managed to end up the life of Twisted Fate in the mid lane. A good rotation, a good teleport coming from JLC Tito. Well, his teammate. That miss took really became critical in that play. Because if you hit that hook, I definitely thought that LeBlanc would have died there. And that becomes key to the early game, really. Is it, if Fresh is able to hit the hook, definitely going to be able to counteract how powerful LeBlanc is, really. So I think it's possible for uh, Swesty to get his normal build for Illusion after no mga buff, I mean, after no ating mga changes sa kanyang items dito. Nung ginawa niya sa PGS to, ang ginawa niyang item is the Blade of the Ruin King. And then, he goes for... The Yomus goes with after that. Take note, wala pang level sisito. Wala pang intervention sa Starfall. And that's... Right yeah. Safe card from Shin Tito to save his uh, teammate. And here comes the red buff. No decision coming from Shin. Actually, he was confident to kill a champion Tito with that red buff. Definitely, Lee Sin right now is considering a lot of pressure. Again, as you can see, it, like in the previous game, these Lee Sin picks really allowed him not only to get vision control, but rotate well. So you can see Lee Sin was able to rotate and just can pollution get the kill right there. 9-4 score is point of time and 3,000 gold difference for NFL and I think Wargads is uh... So far, they're not going to respond to the performance that they're doing. NFL, not only the rotation that they're doing, but also the response coming from their members here. As you can see, they want to solo si Tristana in the bottom lane. Getting his CS, 70 CS against, well, 72 CS for Lucian. But with that 3-0-1 sc uh, score here, he surely got enough item for uh, his champion to survive the laning phase. It's definitely scary to allow Tristana to just farm freely like that. Because if you allow him to spark, he's gonna get that IV much faster. Ooh, here comes the gold card from SOFM Tito. again, get that kill. Vicent's getting rolling really hard this early game. And Ooh, the hook, and lands the hook. That sentence from Trevor, and Trevor will go down. A follow up with that gold guard for SOFM Tito. And that managed to end up the life of two champions from Team War Gods. What a good rotation coming from NFL. Not for me to run for War Gods right here, because they're allowing the late game champion get their kills early on. So you can see that Lucid Fate and Tristana are right now both with three kills. That's definitely not good. However, JLC is trying his best to at least catch up sa kanyang uh, disadvantage. Sa difference na meron sila ngayon. The, the first Dragon goes to team of NFA Tito. And actually, with that pickaxe, be uh, of sword for Jeff or for Tristana Tito, I think, Pagka-recall niya sa kanilang base, 
meron na siyang Infinity Edge. Definitely, that's gonna be very critical. Because team fights like this, once you're starting to get your high E, that power spike, just gonna blaze through everybody who gets their way. Ooh, here comes the Exos mga kaibigan! She may get a kill right here. Death sentence for Champion Tito and that Snowball Tristana. They managed to end up the life of uh, Tristana, however, that teleport coming from the members of NFL Tito came from the backline trying to help Violet to kill Boy Sanity. That kill will go for Starfall Tito, and with that one kill alone, can help Starfall to catch up sa kanyang difference or sa disadvantage na meron sa top rate kanina. And you can see Thresh has 3 kills right here. I thought that that might be a bit odd, but allowing your support to get kills early on really allows you to get more vision because they're able to build side zone faster and see Thresh already has side zone. It allows you to get the utility items. So Thresh C already has talent of protection. So the team fight is going to be very good. He can uh, be a tank champion Tito, getting four items like the side stone. And if ever na a stone siya Tito, at least with that item alone, can give him enough, enough advantage. And actually with this mobility boots Tito, he can roam around the map now, especially in the mid lane. And that is what giving Trevor a pressure sa laban ito. Here comes the tormented soil from Poi Sanity. But like what you've said, 306 Thresh, hindi man lang nabawasan ang kanyang HP dito with his items at this point of time. With that talisman of ascension, and I think minax out dito ni Poi Sanity ay yung kanyang spell shield. And oh no! Sorry to max out yung kanyang uh, Dark Binding. Do you think it's a good idea to go for the Dark Binding? Well, it's a very regular build to go for Dark Binding. I see some LCS players when they just hit mid or run it, they max out their Dark Soil. Yes. But usually for regular support builds, the Dark Binding is really correct. A good intervention, and man. And they decided to dive the tower here. Might have been the wrong decision. JRC will go down as well without his Wild Growth. A good exchange coming from NFL Tito. But here comes the members so of Stronger. So let's spawn here. Morgana as well from the back line. Starfall will go down. One more hit from Trevor Dito, but Stronger decided to use this Q to, ma to end up the life of one champion in the top lane. So it's a plus points from War for Wargets Dito with that three assists or four assists for their team. However, SOFM pushing the bottom lane Dito freely without the members of Wargas defending this turret. W needs to play more aggressive here. They, should, they need to start getting kills and start rotating well. See, they're starting to lose a lot of turrets. It's one turret to two, and they, they've only lost one turret, but right now that turret in bottom lane is very low. They need to start rotating and start playing more aggressively and start and getting the objective. Sentence connected once again for Sanity Dito, and here comes the box. NFL Jeff, wow, that dark binding from Poi Sanity. Jeff will go down, Swiss against Violet Tito, first kill as it popped up and he, he's chasing down Swiss and he decided to go back away, that Sonic quick and a gold card as well from SOFM Tito, double kill for Sheen, for his sanity, he's chasing down, wow that play, That's shut down really from Trevor, huge play coming from Thresh, Sheen chasing down for his sanity Tito, there's a ward here, they know Trevor, there, exhaust for Shin, one more hit, and it makes out. Really key dark binding there, but now he can don't chase down, chase down the Blanc here. And I don't think that was a wise decision by the Blanc to just go back there. Because that allow, but especially with Lee Sin, who is right now 6-1-4, you don't want to deal, you don't want to duel Lee Sin, even if you're LeBlanc. A 6-1-4 Lee Sin is a dangerous Lee Sin. Yes, whoever is a champion that can go against a 6-1 champion, I mean, 6-1 Lee Sin Tito talaga yung mahihirapan. But with that magic assist item, the non-magic mantis, I think uh, malapit na siyang kumuha nung kanyang Hex Drinker dito. And wise decision comes from Lee Sin as well to go for the Mercury Threads para mas malesen yung uh, duration ng Ethereal Chain coming from Trevor Tito. With that item advantage, he can surely go in and then go out successfully sa mga teammates na mangyayari later on. Yeah, and I think you can see right now the CS lead is on Lucian. And so Lucian right now needs to start taking advantage of that and start capitalizing and start going up against Tristana. It's still mid-game and right now even though Tristana has IE, Lucian has both Blade of, the, Blade of the Rune King and his Brutalizer. So definitely Lucian's going for the Yomu's Ghost Blade. Yes. So I think Lucian right now can do Tristana. They can start capitalizing and being more aggressive. Here comes Trevor Mavigan in the bottom lane. Like, missed the Ethereal Chain dito, but that gold card managed to stop Trevor 
Um chasing it down, a flash in from Poise Sanity, here comes the Soul Shock, and hindi niya ginamit yung kanyang spell shield dito. A flash out from Meso FM, here comes the Destiny to uh, at least look at the other members of Team Wargas dito. And he goes for JLC. While in the mid lane, Lucian is farming freely at this point of time. Uh, JLC popping that ult probably wasn't the smartest decision right there. Because they, they weren't able to engage hard. Yes. Once Lucian pops the ult, they should try to take right now to the other two side. And Red Stronger will go down here. Mimic! Oh my gosh, what happened, Don? He used that distortion, a mimic distortion as well. Nurit no took shots and up by lying by there dito. And it's a double kill for Tristana. So surely Snowball Tristana can end this game here on the game. And second dragon of the game. And they're getting dragon. See, that was a very ill advice through the ultimate. Perhaps if they decided to use that through their ultimate later on, JLC probably could have utilized the ultimate while they were in the team fight and while they were and while they were in that team fight, they could have tried to engage that instead of what they did, which is back out Ooh. and then go back in without the ult. Yes, that Gull, calling Dito from Sweat, and they're trying their best to get the first tier to the Dito in the mid lane. But those two champions Dito from NFL, they're defending here and actually, yeah, he have to he has to recall back home. And I think after niya mag recall Dito, meron na naman siyang enough item for his champion. And here comes the other members of the man NFL Tito connected and the man Sonic Wave and the Resonating Strike as well. Here comes the Wild Glow to save himself. Meanwhile, from the backline, a teleported the Starfall Tito will respond. A good double kill from Shin Tito. Again, Lee Sin is just dominating right now, 915. We're probably gonna see much more Lee Sin bans in the future after these two dominating games by both these players. And now they're gonna capitalize by just taking drags by taking Baron. Of course, you may see a Baron steal, but that's hard to find. I doubt the Magakaro and then the Baron steal Tito with that smite. Big up! He tried to use his Mimic and his Toshin as well. Here comes the Destiny from Meso FM. And they managed to run up the life of three champions of Team Wargas Tito and the Baron as well. 25 9 score, 14, uh, 13,000 gold difference as this at this point line. Not looking very close, especially in terms of power. They've taken 3 to 1. And they're pushing very, very hard. So after this, this next pack, they're gonna get their items. They're definitely gonna go into a very strong pushing situation. And I don't think that WC can really respond. Even a Lucian, na sobrang ahead kanina sa CS, in, uh, I mean, having a very hard time to catch up. So sobrang laki na difference na nangyaring ito. Swiss so can uh, push the the first tier in the bottom lane. But again, but, a lot of this is because of Justano. Tristana in this meta is very strong because of the IE buffs. So when IE gets buffed, Tristana is so strong right now because after she uses her Q, which is her Q, her other can blade yes. through any chance. And he can even go against a melee tanky in the air. Dito stronger against Jeff. So uh, that was very not good for uh, Jeff Dito to dive in. Yeah, definitely not, not a good choice to get caught out there. Probably should have. There was nothing much he could do after he got caught out there, but I definitely think that he should have produced the best better in the match. I think it's because Major Dinya Asha aware. I mean, the miss yung kanyang flash dito. And of course, because WG does not have much business control because NFL is pushing so hard. Yes, so ever my I mean, get got exhausted, and here comes the gold card. And that ignite from Violet Tito managed to end up the life of Suez here in the bottom lane. So it's a one-one exchange. Yeah. And this really allows NFL to play very aggressively, especially with the power. So you can just go and try to use this tower and just keep pushing and all the way. Here comes to the box, my I began from Violet Tito to stop the other members of War Guys. And here comes that testing you up. Then then it's once again. That is motion. Can sure you save himself, Tito? But that Dragon Strange! They are taking so much damage, Tito on top of this. For Sheen alone, and JNC got caught once again with that death sentence, for death sentence for Violet Tito to clean up the mess here against the War Gods. And Fresh with 5117, that's a very very odd but very very interesting stat. Fresh right now is a support with 5 kills, that is more kills than... Ooh, that intervention from Starfall Tito, and I don't think Swiss can uh, at least do something about the pressure na meron sila against the NFL. Here comes Destiny once again. And he decided to go for Swiss. 
Swiss will go down that gold card and that white card as well for the members of NFL. And I think right now NFL is just running away with it. They have 30 to 11 kills and they're pushing towers through the heart. After this inhibitor falls, I think that it's gonna be the GG and yeah, NFL is gonna be Yes, Starfall will go down as well. Here comes Dark Binding for Violet. Violet! Two champions from NFL will go down. Star a Warga JLC used his wide growth to stop SOFM from running away. But for the, the, the turret here in the mid lane will go down. Same with the inhibitor. It's a 3 4 2 in favor of NFL. And Lee Shin right now is just so powerful. Not only does he have double buff, he also has pirate buff. And he's 12 1 8. He has 3 buffs and he's fed. This is a very dangerous sweet set right now. Yes. And as long as they push hard, I think that this is just hard to choose. A semi AD carry, semi tanky listen at this point of time for Sheen and Stronger. He's having a very hard time to respond. Sa ganito ng klase ng jungle uh, route na ginagawa nito si Lee 50 seconds left before the third dragon of the game respond. Actually, sobrang nasulit ng uh, ng NFL dito yung kanilang Baron, no? Yep, definitely, and after this next pack, they're gonna get those item spells and see, Beeson already has his Ruby Sight spell. Ooh. And yung kanyang uh, Mo of... Uh... And very importantly, Tristana has her Static Shiv. That means that she's just gonna push so hard right now, and her wave gear is gonna be absolutely amazing, especially with the Static Shiv active and active. So he got his static shift, infinity edge, and this vampiric scepter. I think the next item niya dito ay uh, like the usual possible for the blade of the ruby king. But do you think ano mas maganda sa kanya ngayon? Sa kerto katabang Tristana, do you think he will go for the blade of the ruby king or the bloodthirster? I actually think this time, despite me thinking that the bloodthirster has been hit so hard, I think that she could actually go for the bloodthirster because the shield of the bloodthirster would benefit her probably more than the flat AP of something else. And the life steal of something else. Yes. The bloodthirster shield that she doesn't need doesn't need much damage. She's already dealing so much damage, especially with her two boy. So I think that the shield would definitely benefit her not. And actually this is already a late game match actually. So Hindi niya kailangan mag-dive in to use yung kanya to give to dish out so much damage sa mga laban na ito. So at least with that broad history, if ever na yun kukunin niya, kaya niyang uh, well, distance lang sa kanilang laban dito and then give a pressure against the workers dito. Shin, very aggressive. Wow, that set is from Violet once again connected to his opponent and he comes to the box. Trevor diving, diving in. Wow, a good transition coming from the workers dito. A double kill for this time that takes out without diving and without uh, using his rocket jump. He managed to get a double kill Tito, and it's a trouble, triple kill for Jeff. And look how quick Tristana just deleted Lucian there, that's just because of how fast she is. Champion. Her first late game is amazing, she can even burst out of camp. And that's just the power of Tristana right now, especially in the 4.10 patch. Previously in her last game, in the last patch, she's not able to get to the first game. JLC will go down. That's NFL takes this game quite easy. Uh, and a huge lead in gold. 9 turrets to 1 and 61.5k to 34.6k. Huge, huge. 37 13 score. But if the game, 26 minutes, my I begin. What a play coming from NFL. And I think one of the reasons why uh, Team War Gods uh, took this game really hard is because, well, like what you've said, Kanina, it's the pressure that's being given by Lee Sin throughout the game. So, what do you think? What can you say about this game? I think that Lee Sin's pressure and the map control afforded by having that pressure was really a key factor in this game. Lee Sin, of course, went 12-1-13. Probably combine this with the last game of how dominant Lee Sin was, we're probably going to see more Lee Sin bans in this GPL series. Well, it's all about the champion. I mean, the player who's going to use it. But yes, the... Like, kung ano nangyari kanina, ganito din yung listen ngayon. Sobrang dominant na listen dito. Sobrang effective na listen. Yung mobili being a mobility champion dito, it's kind of unusual to see na ganito yung magiging performance ng listen. Kasi we all know na, actually, at this uh, patch natin ngayon, maraming champion na pwede mong gamitin to counter a listen. But, uh, as you can see, with those, I mean, backup champion coming from the NFL dito, they have Gale, they have Tristana dito. With that listen alone, they can surely uh, win the game, lalo lalo na yung mga laney face nila. Yeah, and definitely thought that WG wasn't able to capitalize on their strong early game potential. You see, they had the LeBlanc and a Lucian. While Lucian was able to rotate top, and that was a very good choice, I believe. But in the end, LeBlanc wasn't able to get 
those kills early game. And that's very critical towards going to mid game. Because when you get Tristana, who gets a few kills early game, that's not good. Because Tristana, while she is good early, mid game she's supposed to be very weak. And that's where you're supposed to capitalize on Tristana's mid game weakness. Yes. And stop her from getting to late game. If they were unable to do that. If ever na na sustain ng sana nitong si uh, JLC yung bottom lane nila, without Tristana being fed, without that dragon team fight kanina, they can surely win this game. I thought WG definitely had a chance there, especially early on when Lucian was just getting all over the map, especially when he was able to control top, siege that turret, rotate mid, get a kill. I thought they were doing really well, but they really, the key mistake here is allowing A, Lee Sin to roam around, give them vision control and exert map pressure, and of course B, when Tristana gets fed, that's just, that's not good for anybody. Yes, and like the usual, nakita natin naman kung gaano kaganda yung pag-follow up ng skills dito coming from the NFL. The stun coming from SOFM, save with a death sentence from Violet dito. And actually, kahit hindi nga sila nag-follow up, kahit sa ibang champion na gamit yung gold guard, kahit sa ibang champion naman nag-death sentence, si Violet dito, sobrang ganda ng execution ng skills nila. And that gave them the advantage to win the game against the Warcard. So yan mga kaibigan, that is our fourth game for tonight. Meron pa tayong game maya maya lamang. I am DJ Sphere, and I'm with... Mr. Akin TV, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. You're watching the Green Premier League 2014 Summer Season. Get excited later.